Hi Cancer, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming month. The underlying message or the underlying um, theme you have is the star card, which is sort of the energy that sort of weaves throughout the spread. And I feel like there is such a strong focus um, for you on healing this month, okay? And see, your symbol is the crab and the crab is, it's got this hard outer shell, doesn't it? right it's got this really hard outer shell this hard exterior but deep down inside the crab is quite soft it's very soft and it can be crushed very easily okay so um, you are someone who's very sensitive and you are someone who you know your emotions um, you can be crushed quite easily but you like to have this really hard shell this really tough exterior and that's just a protective mechanism but deep down inside you are someone very sensitive extremely sensitive um, it's time to start really putting yourself first okay really putting yourself first and um, going back to some wounds which I believe need healing okay now for some of you you could be going through a time of darkness right now or maybe you're coming out of time of darkness okay because you've got the five of pentacles you've got the ten of swords um, but just like the moon okay just like the moon you yourself um, just like the moon and like everyone else I guess you know um, they shine in times of darkness so Whatever it is that you might be going through or whatever it is, like it could be a dark night of the soul. It could just be, you know, um, a shadow aspect of yourself that you're trying to deal with and you're trying to work through. You know, you could have fallen on some tough times, but it's your time to shine. OK, and what you have to do is, um, you know, to get out of this situation or to, you know, to get through this darkness, you have to let your guidance okay let your intuition okay because you're you're a water sign you're very intuitive um i'm sure you all know that but you need to let your intuition be that guiding light through this darkness okay because whatever it is that maybe still has quite a firm grip and a firm hold of you it could be you know past wounds it could be um for some of you some of you i'm getting that you know there may be some self-esteem or insecurity issues it could be like abandonment uh, issues but it's something that I feel like kind of you know your self-esteem has suffered because of it um, it's this maybe it's a relationship that failed and didn't work out maybe it stems from your childhood emotional environment your upbringing your previous relationships but I feel like that's something that you're still holding on to okay it's and what you have to do is untangle the knots on some of those issues because there is patterns here that I don't think are serving you positively. Okay, I don't think these patterns are serving you positively. Um, and I think, you know, they're rather hindering you in many ways. And they could be potentially affecting your ability to, um, you know, have long term relationships or your even your ability to try and really connect with people. Because with the Four of Pentacles, notice that placement of the shield. It's almost it's like he's guarding okay it's like it that placement sorry of the pentacle it's like a shield it's like he's trying to protect or guard his heart which is what made me think of you know that image of the crab and how you guys are okay because you've got this tough exterior you've got this tough shell but deep down inside you're quite soft and you can be easily crushed so i get that you know you want to put your walls or you want to put your guard up but this month might be um a really good time to maybe try and let someone in because you might be connected with someone okay there may be a special someone in your life but they might not be seeing all of you he can so they might not be seeing you know the soft parts of you they might only be getting that hard exterior shell and you know that's great but you know let them really see you the real you um, even like little uh, glimpses, little snippets of it, enough to um, to help. But you you might have to let someone in, okay? Or you might have to um, them. You might feel as though someone you are connected to here might also be projecting this kind of um, energy. And what you want to do is you want to get in, right? You want to open up. You want you want this person to bring down their walls or bring down their guard. You want to get to know them. You know the soft parts of them. And I think this is going to be your focus um, this month. There might also be a need for you to try and reconnect 
Okay, maybe try and rebound, recenter yourself. Try and reconnect with your inner being. All right, there may be a situation here which requires patience. Something in your life is taking a little bit long or a little longer than you'd like. It could be a connection. Maybe a connection is a little bit on the slower side and, you know, it's more of a slow burn and it's taking a while to get started, to gain momentum, to pick up traction. You might be trying to reconnect with someone from the past, okay? Someone with whom you do have a lot of history with, but... You know, there's also a lot of complexity there and the situation itself could be a little bit complex to navigate only because there was, you know, it might have been a failed relationship or there might have been a lot of pain and a lot of emotional triggers in the relationship. And although you might love this person and have strong feelings for them and, you know, they for you and you might want to reconnect with this person, it just, it might be proving a little bit difficult. But this is where you kind of have to go back and, you know, you might have to heal some soft parts of you. And you, those soft parts of you, 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 you're trying to protect those soft parts of you by projecting, you know, that hard shell. But you yourself, um, you know, and I believe that you can lie to everyone, but at the end of the day, you can never truly lie to yourself. So you yourself know that there's parts of you that need healing. It's not that there's parts of you that are broken, um, but there's parts of you that, you know, need healing. And, I, you know, it could be, like I said, I am getting a lot of, like, low self-esteem or insecurity issues um maybe even some anxieties maybe even some fears um about you know who like maybe who you are where you're going okay there's something here that needs um something here that needs your attention something here that needs more of your energy but it's also a reminder that you know healing can be messy and healing does take its time and you can't you know, a lot of people just want to ballpark it and go, okay, it might take them, you know, a couple of months or however long to heal, but it doesn't work that way. Healing is a process and it's a journey that is so unique and that is so individual to each and every one of you, okay? Because you're not all the same person and you don't, you're not all made up of the same soft stuff. So be patient with yourself. Be patient with someone here. Be patient with um, the universe as well. Um, there's also something here that I'm picking up that's related to a career situation. Now, for some of you, I think that you're holding on to something. Okay, you've got this firm grip, you've got this firm hold on something. And look, it's good. I get it. You don't want to lose it because it's valuable to you. Okay, it might be a really good job. It might be that you've got, you've landed a great contract. You might be getting a, you know, a great um, paycheck at the end of the day. Or this might be a really good opportunity. But uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that picture. It's sort of floating around on the internet where there's a child and um it's uh, a child is being asked it's a drawing um, but a picture is worth a thousand words and the child is being asked to um you know give up its teddy bear um, in exchange for an even bigger teddy bear but um i believe it's a holy figure um in the image and behind his back he holds that bigger teddy bear but the child is not able to see it so i think that sometimes basically what i'm trying to get at is whatever you got here it's good but there's something even better for you but you have to be patient and you kind of have to hold out so you know if there's an opportunity that is coming up for you um but it might feel like it's long you know a long time away you have to be patient it's going to pay off and it's going to pay off handsomely but only if you practice patience only if you get patient with yourself because the page of pentacles there is something here that is coming in towards you cancer that is um it feels it's got this very opportunistic energy and it feels like there's a lot of growth like not only in terms of finances not only financial growth and prosperity but also it's going to help you grow like as an individual as as an you know as an energy here so Look, it could be a relationship, okay? Maybe it's asking for you to be patient with the person that you're currently connected to, the person that you're currently, you know, in a connection with. Um, and it's just asking you to take it slow because the suit of pentacles is a slow-moving energy, but it reminds us the importance of investing in the right people and in the right things. So it feels like you're on the right track with this person, but it just feels like it's going to require some time and it might be a little bit longer than you expected but it's it's so worth the worth the wait and it's so worth the investment um 
if it's a career related opportunity i think what you've got is good but i think there's something here like hold down like don't just what i'm saying is there may be there may be an opportunity that is being presented to you maybe even a couple and not all of them are going to have this long-term benefits or not all of them are going to be as successful as um, this one that I see for you because I think there's something here so I don't know if it's asking you to you know not rush whatever it is that you're because I think some of you might be jumping from yeah kind of like hopping from position to position because or from job to job or opportunity to opportunity because you're chasing the dollar or you're trying to chase something that is more you know financially um, suitable or financially uh, stable and I understand the reason behind behind it I do but I think there's something key which like for example it might not pay as much right now but if you stick around if you stay with the company like trust me you'll really be rewarded for it later down the track not only financially but you know in terms of growth as well so if you're you know if there is an opportunity and how will you know well you're you're very intuitive right your intuition is going to tell you you should never ever ignore your intuition because you know there's there's the intuition and then there's ego okay so make sure that when you choose whether you choose love or you choose career whatever it is you're choosing make sure you come from a place of intuition come from a place of love and not ego because your ego hmm, that's that can be a tricky thing um yeah the ten of swords there is something that um is ending or is coming to an end for you and i think this month uh you'll see evidence of this show up this month so there may be people that might be walking away from you people that might ghost you or uh, things that might come to an end it could be you know um, jobs that might end contracts that might end it could even be friendships it does feel like it's something that is what's well, got the energy of uh, betrayal so for example it might or it does feel like it's betraying or abandoning in some way uh, maybe you were you know expected to stay on with a company and then all of a sudden your contract might end a little bit sooner than you thought um, or it might be a friend who you feel might betray you in some way shape or form or it could be you know someone might leave you and it just might you know someone might take an exit from your life here um, or something ends for you and it's so important that you do not chase it okay whatever it is because I think that this thing that is ending is making a, a way for you and for a new beginning okay so just let it be um, also I think it's so important for you to move away from the darkness okay make sure and this is a I think this is for you you know the focus on is healing healing the wounds healing the pain just healing anything that still is festering or that's you know needs nurturing or needs healing you might there may be some wounds here maybe from betrayal maybe it's happened in the past and you still carry those wounds maybe it's happened recently but i think this is affecting you in more ways than you know because i think it's affecting your ability to form deeper forge deeper connections i think it's affecting your ability to trust people like you might you might be someone who has trust issues see cancer okay um and you'll forever have those trust issues unless you go back to whatever the root of it is so if it's a betrayal from a friend or if it's a betrayal from an you know an ex-lover you need to go back and heal it and a part a big part of healing is forgiving okay forgiving someone in person or forgiving someone in your heart or even forgiving yourself you've got success that is coming to you you've got some very successful news and i think that this month um there's really recognition coming in your way so you might potentially be recognized for um your efforts are recognized for something you have done um, it could be in, uh, with regards to your career you may receive a promotion an increase in salary um, you might receive an opportunity that comes your way it might also be tied in with what we spoke about earlier about you know you having to wait for something a little bit longer but it, it will pay off or you having to make the right decision or holding out on something but I feel like you're really being recognized here you might receive some um, award or recognition or even praise or like i said a promotion an increase in salary but it feels like you might even be um you might be like promoted because i feel like there's people looking up to you and people like patting you on the back and people going okay well you know this 
this guy or gal here really knows um, their stuff or, you know, is really able to perform well. So yeah, that, that feels, and that, that feels very rewarding because it feels like you're riding high here, right? Um, all right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching and listening. Appreciate your support to the channel by liking, sharing, subscribing. Guys, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel to grow. Thank you.